Can an artist or a creative use Linux as their main operating system? Well, that's the experiment I'm about to do on this channel. So I'm very excited to welcome you to the Linux Creative Project. This is starting out as a personal project, experiment, and challenge to create all forms of media and art using Linux and a lot of open, free and open source software. A huge disclaimer up front. This channel isn't about talking bad about other operating systems. Uh, I use Mac as well. This isn't about talking bad about proprietary software. I will incorporate some proprietary software. This isn't about talking bad about any specific method or tools that you choose to use. This is simply a documentation of me exploring and trying to get to the point where I can use Linux and most, if not all, free and open source software to create everything that I normally would create. So that's a brief rundown of what this channel is. Who am I? For my day job, I'm a professional video editor. I've been in video production one form or another for over 20 plus years. Every day I edit videos. When I come home, I edit videos for my photography YouTube channel. I edit videos for fun. Um, editing is something I love to do. I also love photography. Photography is a serious side hobby. I don't do it as a professional, but uh, it's a serious hobby, meaning that I spend a lot of time on it. I document it with my YouTube channel, uh, photography YouTube channel, and I, I love doing it. I love creating. I love going out and shooting and creating prints and, and the whole process of photography. I love technology. Um, I have a long history with uh, toying with computers and, and just being a computer hobbyist. I love tinkering with programming. My extent of programming mostly is uh, building some shell scripts and things here and there, very small things, but I do love it. I still, it's still a hobby of mine, so that's one thing that I will explore too. I love technology and art and how they meet, and this is another way for me to explore that intersection. I love creating art. I love consuming it, uh, all aspects of it. So this channel is about Linux and using Linux to create art. But let me give you a little bit of background on my computer history, where I come from, and gives you a little context to where I'm at currently and where uh, we might go with this channel. I'll start where I'm at currently and work my way back a little bit. My main two systems before starting this channel are a 2020 iMac from Apple and an M1 MacBook Air. So needless to say, I'm a Mac user. I've been a Mac user for 20 plus years. Um, you could say I am have been an Apple fanboy, whatever. Those labels don't bother me. Uh, I used to work at an Apple store in the early 2000s, right when the Apple stores first started. So I have a huge love for Apple products because I love how they work and, and, and all these things. And I know that uh, that alone turns a lot of people off in certain computer communities, but whatever. I'm going to talk a lot about Mac and Linux together and how I, how I like both of them on this channel. So Mac is my main daily driver now. I have used Windows in the past. I've used Windows on a few of my editing jobs, but it's mostly been Mac. I'm creating this channel to explore Linux, but I'm not 100% new to Linux. I actually toyed around with Linux and tried to do this kind of thing a really long time ago, probably 2001, 2000, 2001 or so, maybe 2002, but somewhere in the, in the early 2000s, I actually had a cheap, PC like e-machines or some really cheap PC that I dual booted Windows whatever and some Linux distros at the time my the Linux distro I probably used the most was like Mandrake and so I, I toyed around it back then and I probably created a few things that were useful but not many and I didn't stick with it for the long term because I switched permanently to Mac so then I didn't have a system that I wanted to install Linux on so that was a long time ago and for the most part I went 20 plus years without having a dedicated piece of hardware to run Linux on I'd played around with VMs here and there just to toy with things and see where things were at in the Linux world but not up until now have I had a system dedicated to running Linux but of course that changes with this project back in the early 2000s when I first learned Linux and toyed around with Linux, the selection of cre media creation software, art software, or any sort of creative software was very limited. But things have changed greatly, and there are some really, really great pieces of software now in the free and open source world that can run on Linux, Mac, and Windows. And because of one, one of the central themes and principles and like sp the spirit of this channel is to building a affordable 
workstation that you can create videos, audio production, graphic design, photography, all these things. Building a budget workstation to do all this is one of the main driving forces behind this channel. I love exploring budget options for creatives that don't have the money to buy a Mac or buy a fancy Windows PC, um, gaming PC, or, or, or things like that. So exploring low budget options is one main driving force behind this. And saving money on software is one key aspect of that. And obviously free and open source software is a great resource for low budget creatives. That being said, I'm not guaranteeing that I will always use free and open source software on this channel. I want to explore Linux and creating on Linux. So as I'm, especially as I make the transition from Mac to Linux and go back and forth, I'm going to try to find some meeting points. Using some, some proprietary software will kind of help me do that as I get more dug into the Linux world and the free and open source software world. So I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to use all FOSS all the time, but that's kind of the goal. That's the long-term goal, but I'm going to mix in some proprietary software here and there. So who is this channel for? Anyone who's interested in Linux for one, uh, anyone who is interested in free and open source software, especially for creatives. That's another, because a lot of this, a lot of the apps we're going to talk about on this channel do have windows and Mac versions available. So even if you don't want to install Linux, you can try the apps that we're going to talk about and probably follow along with a lot of the uh, use cases of them and the tips and tricks that I might find and share with you. It's for anyone who doesn't want to keep paying subscriptions for software. Almost all creative software, almost all creative software is going to a subscription model. One of the most recent examples of this is Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Publisher. They were those pieces of software were bought by Canva and it looks like Canva is going to move to a subscription base, but they'll still have a, um, a perpetual license available, but still it does seem like they're moving towards subscription. So almost all creative software, almost all I say is moving towards that model. And I know a lot of people like myself are kind of tired of it and it also can add up if you collect a handful of pieces of software to do different things so this is for people who want to save money who are tired of that want good options to save money and not pay subscriptions it's for any experimenters and tinkerers who just want to rebel against the norm and using mac and windows and using adobe software is kind of the accepted norm for good reason adobe does make quality software but this channel is for people who who want to who want to experiment and try some new things. And as I try it, maybe you'll be inspired too as well. And some of you that may be watching this already use these pieces of software. So to you, it won't be new. To me, it is. And we're gonna I'm gonna learn as I make these videos. So right now I'm using Linux Mint with the Cinnamon desktop for this channel. I do intend to experiment a little bit with distributions. I'm not gonna distro hop a ton but I do, I do intend to experiment a little bit with that. So right now it's on Linux Mint, a Cinnamon Desktop running on a cheap PC I got on Amazon that was on sale. I don't even remember the name, but I'll put the link in the description. I do have affiliate links. The Amazon link will be an affiliate link. You know how affiliate links work. Anything you buy from clicking on it, I receive a little portion of. I'm gonna diversify how I generate funds from this channel, so stick with me as I map all this out and experiment a little bit. I'm running a cheap PC on a Samsung monitor uh, with some Logitech mouse and keyboard running Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon desktop. That's basically my computer and OS set, set up in a nutshell, set up in a nutshell. I'll go, I'll do deeper dives into that later on because I want to experiment with some different, some different hardware too. So that's kind of it for this introduction video. I wanted to introduce myself in this channel and say that uh, I welcome any Linux user, anyone who's interested in Linux, any creatives who are interested in Linux especially, Let's go on this journey together. So any of you that use Linux for anything art related, any media creation related, let me know in the comments. Some of you have channels. There are some really, really great channels on, obviously Blender has a ton of a ton of channels out there. Um, there are some great channels for Inkscape. There are some great channels for uh, some a whole bunch of pieces of software. And I'm gonna pull inspiration and tips and tricks from those, learn from those and, pre and present those here as well but I do want feedback from you guys. Let me know 
where you guys are currently with what systems and software that you're using, what do you use to create with it, and what do you hope to see from a channel like this. So that's it for now, guys. Read the description to find out more about the system I'm using. Give me comments about what you want to see from the channel and just to say hi. So thank you for checking out this video if you have. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And stick with me on this journey. It's going to be pretty fun.